One night, Bill and Jonah performed their hit song at the Kingdom's Festival. The crowds loved it, but the song offended the king. The king told the musicians that he would not leave it unpunished. A few hours before their punishment, they were approached by the Kingdom's princess, who happened to be a big fan of their music. She gave them a pair of magic six-sided dice that could land any way they wished. Soon after she left, a trap door opened below Bill and Jonah's feet and they fell into a deep cavern. In the cavern, a robed figure appeared before them. It turned out to be a powerful genie. The genie told them he could change the king's decision, but only if Bill and Jonah proved worthy of it by completing a couple of challenges. The men were relieved and agreed to play along. Then the genie disappeared behind a wall and three buttons appeared. There was a red button, a yellow one, and a green. Somewhere on the floor, they found a note that read, S-S-E-R-P-H-E-T-D-R-E-U-T-B-T-N-O. Bill and Jonah clicked on one of the buttons and managed to open a hidden door on the wall. Which button did they choose? The red button. They unscrambled the words on the note and discovered it read, press the red button. In the next room, the genie was waiting for them. He told Bill and Jonah that the next challenge was a game he loved very much, a life-size version of Snakes and Ladders. He told them that the cavern they were in had 100 rooms, all connected by passageways as well, as you guessed it, Snakes and Ladders. The rules remained the same as in the original game, with only two exceptions. Both Bill and Jonah had to make their way out of the cavern, reaching the exit in a maximum of five turns. However, once either Bill or Jonah used a snake or a ladder, it would disappear and become inaccessible to the other person. It was very difficult, but both guys managed to find their way out of the cavern. Can you figure out how they did it? Here's how it worked out. The team had the magic dice the princess gave them, so they could choose the number they needed to reach either a ladder or a snake. But to reach the exit in five or fewer turns, they needed to use both snakes and ladders in their strategy. Bill went first and chose to walk four rooms. There, he got the ladder up to room 75. Then he diced his way to room 76 and slid down a snake all the way to room 41. Then after another dice roll, he got to room 47. He slid back down to room 30. On his fourth roll, he walked to room 35 and got a ladder up to room 96. He rolled his final dice to room 100 and got out of the cavern. On Jonah's turn, he had to take a different route, as the snakes and ladders Bill used had disappeared. So firstly, he rolled room 5 and got a ladder up to room 15. Then he got a ladder from room 19 to room 41. From there, he rolled his way up to room 53 and got a ladder up to room 94. And finally, rolled his magic dice all the way to room 100 in towards freedom. In another kingdom nearby, Natalie was the princess and heir to the throne. One day, during her morning walk, Natalie got lost. She found a house in the forest and went to knock on the door and ask for help. The house was owned by an evil witch that captured Natalie. The witch said this was her chance to win the throne and planned on disappearing with Natalie. So she put the princess in a dark, damp cavern. The witch had forgotten, but inside the cavern, there were three doors. Natalie could use one of the doors to escape, but behind the first door, there was a fire-breathing dragon. Behind the second door, there were venomous rats. And behind the last door, there was a dark forest. Which door should she choose? The third door, of course. It will lead her straight back to the forest. Outside again, Natalie still didn't know which way to take to get back to the castle. That's when she remembered that her necklace had a magic pendant on it. The king's magician gave it to her, saying it would always help her find her way home. She used the pendant, and three magical animals appeared. The first magical animal was a tiger, the second was an octopus, and the third animal was a butterfly. Only one of them knew the way back to the castle. But if she chose to follow the wrong animal, she would find herself even further away from the castle. Which magical animal should she follow?
Did you notice the kingdom banner in the throne room? It had tigers on it. It's the official symbol of Natalie's kingdom, which means she would be best off by following the tiger. Alice was at a crowded concert. Suddenly, she felt somebody reaching into her bag and pulling out her wallet that only had credit cards inside. She couldn't see who the person was, but after checking the footage from the surveillance cameras, security guards were able to narrow it down to three suspects. Johnny said he was waiting in line to use the toilet for hours and didn't have anything to do with the theft. Jenny said she was super rich and didn't need anyone else's cards to pay for the things she wanted. Penny said she was too focused on singing along with the band to notice what had happened. The security guards immediately figured out who the thief was. Can you figure it out too? Well, nobody told Jenny that the wallet only had credit cards, but somehow she still knew it. Jenny must have stolen it. Two friends are sitting at the same table in a cafe. One of them is speaking about a TV show he began to produce, getting into all the details of the production. The second friend is talking about the birthday party he is about to throw next week, saying there's going to be a lot of cool people and delicious food. The other people at the cafe are annoyed by the men's loud voices. But why is this dialogue so strange? Why is one of the guys talking about a TV show and the other about a party? Well, these two guys aren't speaking to each other. They're talking on their phones, through headphones. Lucy found a new job in another city, so she had to move. She contacted a real estate agent to help her find her new house. He showed her three options. The first one was a beautiful studio with a view of the park. The second one was a single bedroom that was within walking distance of a subway station. The third apartment was in a quiet and very green neighborhood. Which apartment should Lucy choose? If you look closely, the first one has mold on the ceiling, and the third one looks like it has a rat infestation. So it looks like Lucy should choose apartment number two. The school's headmaster looks nervous. He gets to his office and opens the door. It was the end of the semester, and all the students were about to take their finals. When he sat at his desk, he discovered someone had been through his papers, and worse, someone had stolen his copy of the physics final. He asked his secretary to check the cameras and track the last people who had crossed the hallway in front of his office. Soon, she gathered three suspects. Jimmy from the robotics team said he passed through the hallway to get to the robotics lab that afternoon. Rachel, a new transfer student, said she got lost and ended up wandering the school's hallway looking for her next classroom. And Drake, a TikToker, said this section of the school was perfect for filming his new videos. The headmaster knew which one of them did it. Can you tell who it was? It was Rachel. The principal didn't recall having any new transfer students. It was the end of the semester. She couldn't have transferred that late in a school year. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.